so please tell me, why did you pack up and leave your husband? So, Karama, I packed up and left my husband because I felt like he wasn't there for me. Uh -huh. I couldn't trust him. Mm. Um, felt like I just do everything on my own. Okay. You know? That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. And you took your kids with you? I did. I took my kids with me. How many kids you got? Uh, we have two children together. Two, two children. Okay. Yes. Okay. And how long were you together? Uh, 14 years. Oh, wow. 14, 14 years. years. So for you to say 14 years, I got to go, it must have been a place where you're saying that the trust and these other issues were serious. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. Was it hard for you? It was very hard for me. Um, it took a long time, like, for me to really make that decision. I, it took me like three or four months in my head to figure out like, are you gonna really do this? Yeah. Is, you know, I, I decided I do want a divorce, but at that moment in the time that I've been by myself now for like almost eight months, it's like, do I actually want a divorce? Mm. He's actually tried to, you know, come back and whatnot, and I'm kind of like, okay, okay, let's see. So what is it exactly that's telling you to give it another chance? So I feel like, Although he's done a lot in his past and we don't have that trust, um, I feel like I didn't really give him a chance to be himself, you know, mm. as far as in trying to be there for me. I feel like I was an enabler more. You felt like you were an enabler? I feel like I am, yeah. Okay. Do you feel like he pushed you away? I feel like he definitely pushed me away. Yeah, in what yeah. ways? In a lot of different ways. Um, as far as in, I, I would find things in his phone. I would look on my own, but I would find things in his phone that were just, you know, it would turn me off. Like, am I not the right one for you? Do you, mm. do you not want me? What am I doing wrong when I've been here for 14 years trying and So is trying. this a relation to, like, the type of porn he watched or something? Yeah, okay. yeah. And so this breakup right now that you have has mm -hmm. been eight months. It's been eight months. And what has eight months been like for you? I've been free. I've been happy. I've been, I actually have got a lot going on now. Uh -huh. And so like I'm, I'm very happy. Um, just a lot of different things that's coming soon. And it's you just a feel surprise. Like, you, just feel, you just feel like now life is. Yeah, life is just taking off. I've been job. that caged butterfly before. And I'm no longer feeling like that. And so I don't want to go backwards anymore. I want to go forward. Yeah. So, yeah. So if he wants to take the time out to actually be with me and respect me in the way that I should be respected and understand that my business is just business and it's not anything personal, then I, I think I can definitely give it a chance. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So that makes sense of why you're hesitant to come back. Yeah. Again. I'm because very you're in hesitant. a very happy free space right now. Okay. I am. So what do you want from this fresh start? I want a new start. I know, you know, we, we built off of, I believe, unfaithfulness, not being trustworthy mm. to each other, no always telling lies to each other. And I feel like now we can have a fresh start, um, do things the right way. Well, let's see what Anthony has to say about all this. So everyone, please welcome Anthony to the show. I don't really feel like it's pretty much is me not wanting to financially help is more so of me wanting to believe that what I'm contributing to is financially helping us. Mm -hmm. So. I want to help that make so, sense. Yeah. I think when it comes to finances, like I always say, it's facts over feelings. We don't need to know, believe or not, either the bill can be paid or it can't be. Right. So are you able, have you in the past been able to pay yeah. for the bills that needed to be paid for? In the it, past, no. Okay. I'll, I'll right. answer that. Okay, no. Right. So, no. but now you're saying. But now it's not a problem. Got it. Okay, okay then. So, what were you feeling when Calandria left you? I felt like she destroyed me when she left me. Like I didn't know what to believe. Like I didn't. Yeah. That's really. So what... I, I did those things. You do know why I left, right? Right. And you do know why I actually took the time out and didn't tell you why I was doing the things that I was doing, right? Right. And I, I want to do it with you, but I feel mm. like. I don't want you to drag me down me doing it. You know well, what I mean? I, I feel like if we would have, if we would have came on better terms, it would have been, okay. it would have been differently. Yeah. But not knowing is what hurts me. Do you yeah, see the kids? Do you see the kids? I'm sorry. Uh, not, not as much as I would like to. Because in but the eight like, months, how many, how many times have you seen the kids? Once, once for yeah. for a birthday. Once for yeah. Birthday. yeah. Uh, so when you found out that you heard, when she said that she was leaving, you thought it was just a separation. You later found out it was, she was thinking about yeah, divorce. Yeah, that's what the, the devastating that, part of it was. And I did, was. I did, did. I did, Karamo. I, I felt like he wasn't ready for, to understand where I wanted to be. I get it, life. you got to process. It's yeah. like 14 years together, you, you know, sometimes it's not just easy to break things as exactly. easily. Exactly. Well, talk about me, the, about the infidelity between you two. Yeah. Well, the did infidelity you, really came from me 
being in the space that I was. It wasn't that right. I didn't trust you. It was just that I didn't believe what you were saying. Right. Right. And so, and so, you know, I we dealt right. with a lot over the past years yeah. that when, for instance, when I was unfaithful, you would bring that person up often right. and it would be a problem. Were you actually I, able to forgive her? I am. I, I'm definitely able, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm hurt behind it. Mm -hmm. And you cheated as well. Right. Yeah. Right. Do you trust her? I do. Okay. I trust her. I don't. But do you trust me? I trust you. I don't trust the people around you. Well, that's what that's I cool. don't trust. Well, that's not trust then. I trust that you would do the right thing. Right. How, okay. how, how and he says that, that a lot, Karamo. He tells me that. He tells yeah. me that a lot. He trusts that I would do the right thing. But when it's other people around me who may not take interest right. in, yeah. in me yeah, or right. whatnot, he, I need him to trust that I will not do the same, the right. same things. You know, uh -huh. I can't help that. Um, my producers say you feel she creates the problems in her head. Yeah, because most of the time, like, you're, you're upsetting me about something that's not even there. So like, for I instance, feel like it's created. So, for instance, things like with my friends or what, what I'm wearing or mm. whatnot, I was right. very... He says in my head, because he feels like I've told him before, I think that you think that what I'm wearing or something is a problem. And Versus he may have not said that. it, you right. know, but mm. I feel like being a wife certain things he feels like well, is not right. Well, confirm it. Did, did you have a problem when she was dressing some way? never had a problem with how you... You are beautiful. I have never had a problem with how you looked at Thank all. You. Thank so you. It was, it, so is it your own insecurity that's popping up? Probably was my own insecurity okay. at first. Now I feel like I've... I've leveled out. I know what I'm wanting. I know what I'm doing. You're free now. Yeah, right. it is, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a better communicator, so I feel like I can communicate with him when, if he can be open to me and talk to me, yeah. we can communicate better and we can do things better. But if you're going to blame and point fingers, we're, we're not going to get anywhere. Do you think that you've grown during the separation? I've definitely grown. Yeah. It's yeah, been a lot of self-love going on these past eight months. Yeah, I'm so, happy for you. I'm yeah. happy. And you said you're ready to help out with the financial burden. Definitely. Okay, I'm, then, I'm definitely ready to play my part. Yeah. So it's, what do you need from her in order to make this work? Because I, I asked just, her what she needed I from want, you. I want you to be able to love me for me. Okay. I want you to be able to trust me because I'm not going to lie to you about anything. And I want us to be great together. Okay. So what does love me for me mean? Love me for me? Mm-hmm. The, that's not bringing up, I want this to be the last time we have to even say the word past, unless we passing by something. Right. right? <laughs> I, don't, I don't want right. having to talk about the past right. no more after this show. You know, Karama, okay. I actually don't want the past at all. Yeah. I know right. we've, we've grown and we have memories of 14 years, but I really don't want to build off those anymore. Yeah, exactly. I want to yeah, start yeah. fresh. I want to yeah. do yeah. things yes. right. Of course. Well, Anthony, um, we have your Unlock the Phone results right here. Okay. So... <laughs> Well, Calandra, you want to know if Anthony has been, has any explicit photos on his phone. Anthony says he does not. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched his photos and found that Anthony is not telling the truth. What's in your he mind? has three photos of his private parts from the last two months that I'm assuming you're sending out. Mm. So what have you been doing there? It's, it was just pictures that was been there. It's not recent. From the last two months. Yeah, but okay. they was just there. Like, it wasn't. And so who did you send those to? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Who did you send them it, to? It wasn't sent to nobody. They so were, you taking photos of yourself about. just for you to look at? No, I, I were. I, they were going to be sent out, but they you never. You didn't? No, I never did anything. All right, well, Calandra, you want to know if Anthony has received any money from women in his apps. Anthony says he has not. My Unlock the Phone investigator searches apps and found that Anthony is not telling the truth. Oh. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched his apps and found that he has three different women sending him money on Cash App. Yeah, he, saw, so. um, he saw multiple conversations strongly using these women to send him money. Yeah. So are you going to change there? Because that's, that's been the problem, honestly. That's actually... It's, it's been shut down. Like, those were... Because I don't want People other women to think the that they past. can come, pay, yeah, right, and come yeah. back and everything. But, so the but women from the past have come back still. So how are you shutting it, it down? Well, it, it's shut down regardless because they all know what's going on with me now. They, they know that I'm going to so try to be with my, my marriage. Like, I want to be with my wife. Like, 
all of those were just conversations being held within those eight months that was, I was free like you was free. Oh, okay. So it was, it was just me reaching out. So my question is, this is not to indict you because I really want to do help you all. If you said during your eighth month period it was about you doing growth to prove to her that you're ready, mm -hmm. why would you still engage in these things during that eighth month period? Right. Because that's your time to say, I'm showing There's you. something to do. But just, well, it, it can't be something, something to do. To do if, if your intention is to say, I'm going to show you it that I'm ready, yeah. and then the impact is that I'm going to do the exact opposite, exactly. then yeah. how can she trust well, that no, after the eight months now you're going to It's not it. that I'm doing this because of something that's going to be hurtful. It's more okay. so of, I know I can talk to this person. I know I can talk to that person. Right, and that's been the problem. I know that these women will talk to you. Well, let's continue on. Calandra, you want to know if Anthony has been direct messaging any other women? Anthony says he is not. My unlocked the phone investigator searched his DMs and found that Anthony is not telling the truth. He has 747 DMs with six different women since October of 2023. All conversations were explicit. And that's what I don't understand. One woman had shared her location multiple times. <laughs> This month alone, one of them has shared her location multiple and see, times. I don't with understand you. why it's been so many women. That's but been the no, problem for me. It's not so many women. It's just that it, I didn't want to be building anything based on lies. So I'm doing the work within myself. Like these but are people. But you can't work that, if you're if you're getting that from everyone else. That attention. That, yeah, yeah. But and that's been the problem too. But it's too. not for attention. It's it's more so of me reaching out just to be. It's not the attention thing for okay. me. Well, we got answers there. I think we'll move on. Anthony, because you wanted Calandra's phone unlocked, correct? All right. Well, it's time to unlock your phone. <laughs> um, Anthony, you want to know if Calandra has been communicating with other men? Calandria says she is not communicating with any other men. My unlock the phone investigator was able, unable to find anything because she refused to unlock her phone. Oh. I did. Because I don't feel like it's a point that I unlock my phone. I don't Why feel like it's that? nothing like how, that's needed to be. How can we build and go forward because if we're this not, is not all out on the table? Because the things that's going on with me have not been because I was building to be with you. I was building to be by myself, to but be even, a better But even person. if so, that should be proven. Like, you, you shouldn't have yeah, a problem should, with allowing me to understand my it for myself. There's nothing that's So gonna, why we couldn't just unlock and see that for ourselves? Because... I, I would, I would if, feel if, a lot if I could tell you this, if I could tell you this, and I'm, and then I'm gonna give you my sincere advice, and I'm gonna say this first: you are not the villain in the story, and you are not the villain in the story. There is two individuals that got together when they were in their early 20s, and they have grown and are discovering who they are. They have also, that's you, yes, and you have also found that there are patterns and things that you actually enjoy doing because it serves your ego and gives you attention in a way that you like. Mm. Neither are wrong. It's just that the two things that work for you don't work together. Yeah. And you've separated for a reason. Yeah. You left to make things right. right. And Anthony, you need to work on you before you all can be in us. But the thing is, at the end of the day, I don't believe that's going to even work. Yeah. Because y'all have grown apart. Y'all yeah. want different things. And as much as y'all want to try to be transparent, now nah, I'm going to do these things. Mm -hmm. The fact that up until a month ago, this month, this, this month alone, you still talking to other women, you doing these things, you still get money from other women. This is what you want. Yeah. And if that's what you desire, I wish you to have it. Yeah. Because clearly you're getting it from other people. I just think it's better for you not to drag this woman into it. And on the same rate, you're in a space right now where you just told me, let's go back to what you said because I like to write it down. Yeah. <laughs> I am free and happy and a yeah. lot is happening. Yes. Your words. Yes. So stay in your freedom. Yeah. Stay in your happiness. Yeah. What I feel is happening is there's a fear of, we had 14 years, and I know you, you know me, the nostalgia is gone. I think that if y'all ever did try to get back in this space right now, until you two are growing at the same place and space, this will never work, and y'all are not there right yeah. now. Yeah. So yeah, you, you know it's true. I hear you. Yeah, you know it, yeah. What do y'all think? I think so too. It makes sense. <laughs> okay, yeah, look, definitely. I like reasonable adults. <laughs> Honestly. That statement right there gives me so much hope for the friendship and the co-parenting. I wish y'all the best of luck. Thank Appreciate you. Yeah, thank seriously, you. I really do. Everyone, thank you for being with us. Make sure to come back next time, friends, so we can keep talking and we can keep growing. I love you all. 
Anthony, I love you. I hope the best for us. And I pray that you actually have changed and that the things that we did see is not what's going to make us, you know, not be together or whatever. But I'm praying that um, things can be just better for us and we can really move on and start fresh.